Number one says a normal curve with a mean of 500 and a standard deviation of 100 is shown. Shade the region under the curve within one standard deviation of the mean. So one standard deviation means either direction. So if our mean is at 500, then we can go one standard deviation to either side of that, and the standard deviation is 100. So we'll go 100 um, to the left and 100 to the right, and then that would be where we would shade under our curve. So just in this part between 400 and 600. And then how much of the data falls within that shaded region? Um, so within one standard deviation of the mean is 68% when we have a normal distribution. The shopping distance of a certain car traveling at 60 miles per hour follows an approximately normal distribution with a mean of 130 feet and a standard deviation of 5 feet. Approximately what percent of the time does the car stop between 120 and 140 feet? So I like to just draw out the curves here. So just draw something that looks approximately normal. Then you can put on the um, mean. So the mean is right at the middle. It splits the data in half. So 50% of the data is above and below the mean. And then in this case, it tells us that our standard deviation is five feet. So five feet above and below would be here. And then 10 feet, so two standard deviations would be here. Um, and so we're um, to get to that 120 that they talked about, it's two standard deviations, okay? Because this would be 125 um, and then 120. 135, 140. And this one wants to know um, what percent of the time they're between these two numbers. So we want to be in here. And when we when you're within two standard deviations of the mean, that's 95% of the data in a normal distribution. So remember between one standard deviation, so here to here would be 68% of the data between two standard deviations is 95% of the data. Number three, the distribution of weights for bags of chips is shown to follow approximately normal distribution as seen in this histogram. The weights of approximately 95% 90, of the chip bags fell within this shaded region. What's the approximate mean? So you want to find the middle of this. So the middle of this is at 10. So the approximate um, mean is 10 ounces. Oops. Then it says, what's the approximate standard deviation? So then you want to look at, because they told you that the amount of data here um, that fell within this is 95%. And we know that that means it's plus or minus two standard deviations away from the mean. So what I would do is take one of this, one of these intervals, okay? So figure out how wide this is. So from 10 to one point, or sorry, 10 to 8.8 .8 gives us that the width of this um, interval right here is 1.2. Then you can just divide that by two to get 0.6 would be where you would get your second deviation. So we go 0 0.6, 0 0.6, that gives us 1.2. So our standard deviation um, is 0 0.6 ounces. Number four, here's a histogram of a distribution with 50 data points. For each interval, find the proportion of data points which fall in the interval. So from 80 to 81, there are two data points. So then this is 2 out of 50, which is 0.04 or 4% of the data. Um, in the interval 83 to 84, we're here at four data points. 
So this is four divided by 50 or 0 0.088%. .08 and then 88 to 89 is right here. And that one is between eight and 10, so at nine. So nine out of 50, which is um, 0.18 or 18%. Number five, two curves representing normal distributions are shown. Does the solid curve or dash curve have a greater standard deviation? And remember, standard deviation you can look at as the width of your dots um, because that's kind of how spread out the data is, is what the standard deviation represents. Um, and so the one that's more spread out is has the greater standard deviation. So in this case, the solid line um, because it's wider. Number six, why is it important to randomly assign people to random groups in an experimental study? And this is to reduce um, the likelihood bias or um, various characteristics um, getting lost in the study because then you might have a characteristic that was only present in one of the groups that was impacting your study um, and you didn't notice it because you thought it was because of your vitamin or your light or whatever you were um, splitting or doing the study on. So you want to reduce the likelihood of bias or missing a characteristics impact on the study.